Pose Monkey and um, Snake together today. So uh, we started where we were last week was here. Then we do this posture in between. This is another booster variety. And you step back and turn. As you shift back to the left, the right palm pushes out and the left, and it drops. And we'll pulse them up. We'll do it three times in the front, just like that. Feet are parallel. Then you shift to the right and drop your left hand. Step up on your left foot to the diagonal. Hey, Scott. So the first thing we have to do is uh, this transition. So uh, my last thing I did was this. So I'm going to do it, and this false monkey is to try to get him out. Here, and if he grabs my wrist, you can see what he's doing. And then I'm going to poke him in the eyes because I'm worried about his other hand. So I have to get his other hand busy. When I get it, I'm going to take it and pull it down to my left hip and to bring out his right his left elbow. See it? So I put my right hand right on the elbow and push it out. That's our first repulse thing. So you can see it clearly. You can just grab my hand and you can do this at home. Just grab and push the tricep. This fingers can go under or it can go on top. For a bigger person, I would go under. You can also just control the arm this way because it's still repulsive. Like that. But the empty right foot, look, I can kick the, the donut straight into the so that's why there's no weight there. If I bring this up to get the other hand, I just repeat the process until I get something that looks like that. Now you have all your takedowns will happen from here. There's a transition. See, I can just move them across and literally lay them out. Like this. So that's from the grab or the pulse monkey. Uh, for the punch, I'm in this position. Uh, let's see. I'm in this position and he punches this open space. See it? So here's my repulse monkey now. So it's a little bit shortened up for the punch, but it works fine. If he punches again, you just repeat it. Then you just repeat it. Notice you're kind of stepping offline to get away from his punches. And these are going into the eyes. Right? So you want to keep the hands kind of up for the punch. So you grab him around the waist. Again, I'm in this position, so I'm going to take the head and peel it off this way. Notice this, this can come here and, and release them if I like, and when I shift back, that's my throw. If he repeats it again, I can just do it on the other side. I can also come under the armpit this way and roll them off for that. Okay, so that's pretty good for a pulse monkey. Uh, there's a lot more we can do with the pulse monkey, but um, that's okay for now. Uh, the next one is snake. So the first thing on snake, our last focus monkey was here. So if he grabs there, I'm going to have to get him off me. So there's my lock. So this, this is that transition here. So if I want to break him off, I can break him off. If I want to break his arm, I can break his arm this way. Use the elbow. If I don't want to break it, that's okay, I can just hit him with this. I just poke him right in the liver and the ribs. These are all very tender, so you can hit him with that hand. You can also hit the groin as you go down. So if he, if he blocks one, you get the other. See how that works? And then from here, I'm going to insert my elbow back into the ribs there and lift this hand up. And then just push straight along that line across the shoulders. This way. Okay? So that's from the grab. You can also, once you have the grab, you can get his other hand up with this. Once you have it, watch. You get this lock. Then when you step in, you just push him out with that. You lift him up with like that on the outside of his arm. So you can come inside or outside of the arm. That's up to you. <coughs> if I'm in repulse punky and he punches me in the hip, there's my parry, and I've got to get this hand up right away. If this is a feint, then he punches the other hand over the knee there. Maybe that would work too. But keep your hands busy, you know, keep them up and alive. So watch, even here, so watch if he goes low with that second punch. You're going to do it this way, see it? Then I can come under that one. 
So you have a lot of options, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> so you grab them around the waist. And again, I'm going to repulse monkey again. So I'm going to compress here and lift this that way. So when I bring my knee up, his head's going to go down from my knee, close to it. Now I'm going to bring my knee up into his, his ribs. See that? And then from there, if he's still holding on, you just drop your hands underneath. Now watch, you can peel this up. And then push him out. You can peel him up this way. See that? That's snake. Another nice thing about snake is it, it const they constrict, right? So when he comes in, I constrict around him this way. I can constrict this way and break his ribs down into him. Or I can constrict his arms out this way. Then I constrict his arms this way. I just take him and peel him up. I can keep this arm too, see? So any number of things can constrict. This way, or that way, or this way, or that way. <laughs> see it? So this is, this is the whole constricting idea. Okay, then the push. Push hands version, just do the same. So he's going to push, uh, if you push with your right. Yeah, so I'm going to take his pressure down into my right hip. Empty out his pressure and push out with my left. That's the pulse. On snake, he pushes with that same hand. And this time I'm going to put the weight forward. Lift this straight up, this skirt. 